So what we're going to do next, we're going to divide it into two groups, and, we're, and I'm going to give everyone a key player role, and everyone has to do their uh, role accordingly. Yeah? This is team. Your guys are going first? Yeah. 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 Who's yeah. going to be the leader? I want to be the leader. You're going to be the leader. Alright. Right. <laughs> 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 you can do this as a leader, eh? Yes. Alright. Keep doing good. Alright. Maybe who knows? Maybe what is this? Bang! Bang! Okay. Empty. Totally empty, without baggage, without bullet. Yeah. And also secure it with a plastic tie wrap. Place it in a plastic bag. Place it also the magazine in a. <laughs> okay, guys, that's enough, that's enough, okay. Or at least your first name. I can give you a card. Oh, that's perfect. That works. Uh, that makes it easy. Let me check if I have a card. No, I don't have one. Oh man, that's terrible. I already gave him my card. Um, that's perfect, yeah. so, so I can reach out as All right. well. So Thank you, is, sir. This is my last name. I will uh, I will take a picture of you before. Um, <laughs> and, uh, if you, well, if you can give you a card, then, uh, then they can, uh, we can uh, uh, link up at that, absolutely. Um, sir, what brought you out to Open Game Express? Well, the, the, the Netherlands Armed Forces are already participating in Open Game uh, for quite some time. Uh, also this year. Uh, it's a small team with, with uh, very good uh, expertise. And um, well, um, I think that in the, in the case of maritime security in Gulf of Guinea, um, it's very important that each nation has uh, very good skills and drills. Uh, in order to cope with the threats that are here, um, and we can support the African countries. In a he will really take over. No, yeah. right. and how do you, based off of what you've seen today, how do you think that the exercises here in Takarati are benefiting these ten West African nations that are here? So I, uh, I think that uh, most of the uh, the countries that are here exercising, um, they need to uh, get to a higher level of readiness in order to cope with the threats they have. Um, it's an ongoing threat all the time, and every time we have new uh, soldiers coming in, uh, new youth, um, and they need um, well, all the procedures because the threat always develops as well. So um, always reason to continue training, keep on training, and um, this this every come exercises uh, provide good training opportunities. And the Dutch are happy that we can join and support uh, every come in doing so. Awesome. And uh, one last question, sir. Um, what what do you say to the people back in the Netherlands about uh, what your Royal Dutch Marines, or Royal Netherlands Marines, uh, are doing? Well, what I usually say is that um, the Dutch is a small country, and uh, we cannot as, uh, deliver as much as other nations can. But what we bring is uh, our experts, our, uh, our professionals, um, and our professionals like it very much to be here. And especially because the the people they train are so eager to learn. Um, so it's a win-win for both. It's good for my my navy guys. It's good for my. Uh, it's good for the African countries uh, because they enjoy it and they invite us again for next year. I hope. Got it. Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate it. Excellent. Thank you so much. That's 